welcome to Craft and Knickknacks. Today, I want to unbox this video that I got from Pen DBS. I think this is my last, this should be my last um, fountain pen purchase for the year. It's December now. I, I ordered this a month ago. Or rather, it's not December now. It's December 20, 26th. I ordered this to, around the start of November and this is the last fountain pen purchase for the year. Um, and I'm really excited. So I, I usually get my pen DBS pens from a local seller and then I found their Etsy shop and I figured I will buy one of their pens. And this is the thing because if you've been following me in um, Facebook and Instagram you will know that I have this pen. This is from Pen BBS. I got this from a local seller here in the Philippines and the moment I saw it, saw it I said wow it's a fountain pen that has two ends and I really love it, although I'm not a fan of the color. I collect orange pens because orange is my favorite color. This one is on the green side. And I said to myself, okay, I'm buying this because it's so unique. I wish it came in orange, but since it's so unique, there might not be any other colors released. I might not, or I don't know, I just needed to have it. So I bought it out of a whim. And when I browsed the pen, I was actually, one night I was looking for the name of this pen. Because Pen DBS names their pens a little techy, like a little technical. This one, I don't have an idea what the name is or the, even the model number. So I figured I'll go to the, I'll Google it and look for it. And then lo and behold, I got to their Etsy page. Um... And instead of seeing this pen, because I searched Pen BBS Dual Tip Fountain Pen, instead of seeing this pen, I found an orange version of it. Although it's not like, it's not similar to this, where it's like ebonite or I don't know what it's called, celluloid rather, that has um, these like rocks inside. This one is more like this. This is also a Pen BBS pen. I think it's, if I remember correctly, it's more like this with brown streaks. And I'm super excited to open it because I love this pen. It, you get two pens out of just one barrel and it's super, super handy. And it's an orange pen so it matches my collection and I can finally let this go. Because when I got this in the mail, I was like, I was underwhelmed. Not because I don't like the pen, the functionality of the pen, but I don't not really a fan of the color it's pretty yes but i'm not really a fan of the color it's not making me super happy unlike my other pen like when i look at them like this pen it makes me super happy okay so before i continue i'd like to apologize for the noise so yeah fun. yes my i'm with my son and i'm at home and the painting though yes it's paint color you know how to read oh my gosh you can read this okay he just said paint color and he has no idea what this thing is no idea okay stop stepping on my things Anna. okay so I asked my husband to get this um, from the post office and so he got this for me yeah so I covered up my address in case you're wondering why there's an orange thing there what am I doing okay so I'm actually wondering why the box is so big. When I, when my husband came, he just came in like a few minutes ago. I said, why is the box so big? And he said, I have no idea. He actually has no idea what's inside. So, this is like an on the whim fountain pen purchase. Probably my last, well not my last, but one of the last on the whim fountain pen purchases. So let's see. So this ships from China. Mm. Oh, I got cat photos. <laughs> are these stickers? They probably are. Okay, box stop. Open. Stop closing. Are you a sticker or are you just a picture? Oh yeah, it is a sticker. 
So they are sending cat photos. How cute! And then I get these squishies. Oh, and here is the classic Fendi DS packaging. So uh, how many pens can they fit? They can fit three. So I would have probably saved on shipping if I purchased three, right? So this is the classic pen BBS um, packaging. So this is my third pen BBS pen. I like it. Um, but actually, I enjoy my um, my Jin House better. My Jin House 992. I think they write better. Um, but they are still a pleasure to write with. My only beef with pen BBS is that it tends to put down the ink a little lighter than it's supposed to. So unlike um, the Jin House where the colors are super saturated. So opening it, yay! So, oh, it comes with the droppers and it comes with its own ballpoint. How cool! So in case you want to switch to a ballpoint, I guess. A ruler ball. It comes with a dropper. They used to just come with disposable droppers like this. Oh, I like this pipette. It's... Yeah. It's nice. I like this so much, it's, except it's glass, so I can't bring them with me. And then, here's the pen. It's not... It's not as pretty as this one, where it looks like celluloid. This one looks... Okay. I'm not a fan of this design, but it is orange, and my collection is orange, so this will fit right in. Pen BBS has a we weird smell. Yeah, it's, it has that too. So, it has two. Oh, oh, it has different nibs. Amber is a cat. It has a cat um, nib at the other side. So I'm guessing this is called an amber cat or something. Let me check out this one. I know they have the same nib. This one, yeah, that one. Uh, it's awesome, but yeah, one is gold, one has a gold plating, and the other is not. Uh, it smells so bad, I swear. Okay, and then this one, this one is a cute, okay, this one is a cute nib with cats. I think standard pen BBS is F. I forgot if I got to choose. A nib size? I guess not. It says F here. So I'm excited to ink this. This is an eyedropper. Eyedropper means that there's no cartridge, there's no um, filling mechanism. You just literally put the ink inside. And what I love about this is that since it's an eyedropper, you don't need to put silicone grease to convert it into an eyedropper. So what I'm curious about is how I can use, not that I intend to use it, but you know, just for a full. So this can be taken out, right? Uh-oh. Is it friction fit? Okay, I'm not sure how this is, if it's friction fit or not, and I'm afraid of breaking this. I have no interest in turning this into a ballpoint, so that's maybe for another day when I get to enjoy this pen a lot already. Okay, so that's it. It smells a little. When you get the pen, it smells a little, but when you put the ink, when you put ink inside, I don't know, it probably reacts or something, and it smells really bad. Like, not really bad. Well, it smells bad enough to give me a slight headache okay so this is my pen this is the nib that i'm telling you about it's so cute it has um paw prints on it and then it says amber amber is a cat i am guessing this pen's name is something related to a cat which is actually perfect because my husband and i love cats 
love cats rather. Okay, so that's it. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Bye.